Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Katie Stone, and this is Stone Second Sense. Now, today I have a little story for you, and I would like to have your opinion on this at the end. So, stick with me. Let's dive in. An armed Good Samaritan shoots suspect who allegedly knocked out an elderly man in a restaurant bathroom. Whew. It's not sounding good so far. Now, authorities say this suspect, his name is Kevin Craig Anderson, enters a barbecue joint in a harassing manner and aggressively approach several customers inside the store. Now, this individual is from Houston, which is roughly 115 miles south of Centerville, where this took place. Anderson reportedly went into the bathroom and began assaulting an elderly man, knocking him unconscious on the tile floor and continued assaulting him, according to the Facebook post of the sheriff's office. Now, this is when things get interesting, and this is where I'm going to need your opinion. So, pay attention. A man with a license to carry then became involved and tried to stop Anderson from continuing his attack on the unconscious man, per authorities. Now, Anderson allegedly turned his aggression towards the armed man, knocking him to the floor and continuing to assault him. Now, let me read that last part again. Anderson allegedly turned his aggression towards the armed man, knocking him to the floor and continuing to assault him. Now, at this point, so far, I'm not seeing anything where the man has pulled his firearm out or anything like that. So, as far as now, this individual still has not revealed their firearm. They were just trying to stop an elderly man from getting the crap beat out of him when he's currently unconscious. But let's continue. The man carrying the firearm... Now... Just remember, this man is currently knocked on the floor and being assaulted. The man carrying the gun pulled out his weapon during the attack and fired off two shots at the suspect. Anderson, who was shot in the right arm and fled the restaurant in a car. Now, the authorities found the suspect sitting in his vehicle on the shoulder of a nearby highway and he was transported via helicopter to local hospitals. Here's where I have the question for you. Was this man justified in shooting the suspect that was allegedly beating up an unconscious old man? What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that he was justified? Do you think he had every right to fire his weapon at this individual? What are your thoughts? I want to know down in the comments because I feel like this is something that's really important. Now, obviously we don't have all sides of the story. You never do when it comes to the media. From what I gathered here, the individual that was harassing all these people. He went into a bathroom. He assaulted an older, an older male and knocked him unconscious on the floor and then continuously assaulting him. So that's where I, mm, cause see, then we have this man. And I don't like how they worded this. Cause they said a man with a license to carry then became involved and tried to stop Anderson from continuing his attack on the unconscious man. See, we don't clarify here whether this individual approached with a firearm, didn't approach with a firearm, whether he just tried to pull off the other individual. We don't know exactly what happened here. And I guess that's why they're still investigating this. But the way I see it, and you guys can tell me different in the comments, let me put it this way. A fire is not your first resort. It's it's not. The firearm is actually your last resort. It is the last resort between you and your life, right? If this individual is just going in and trying to pull this man who's beating up another man who's already unconscious and is, is elderly, if he's trying to just pull him off and separate the two, what's wrong here? I mean, the individual from what they have it here is that he then pulled out his gun after he was already knocked down on the floor and was being assaulted. That's when he pulled his firearm. So ladies and gentlemen, I personally see no problem here. I think this is a good Samaritan doing his job defending the elderly and defending the weaker. And I feel like, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you need sheepdogs. This is why I love the Second Amendment because we don't know. They don't say here how big or how strong or or anything about these individuals. All they say is there was a man who came in and started assaulting and harassing and knocked an, uh, an elderly man unconscious. And then we have another man who stepped in to defend a weaker individual. Now, could he have, I don't know, overpowered the, the guy who was hurting people and just ended it right there and just separated and held him down until the cops got there? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what all went on here, but I do know that someone stepped in 
instead of recording it on their phone and actually ended the situation. Now, personally, I think that is, I think that's a win for the Second Amendment. I think it's a win for this elderly man and hopefully he's doing all right. But ladies and gentlemen, we need more people like this. We need more people who are willing to step in. Now, I'm not saying you have to shoot someone, but we need more people to step in when we have individuals who are being treated unfairly because that's how America kind of was founded. Guys, we're supposed to be a family and take after and look after each other and not just record things on our phone because we want to get views. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. Was it justified? Was it not justified? But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button, please. Have a great day.